1073 KFFM Middays with Sarah J. I have got a local artist in the studio. Would you be so kind to introduce yourself? How are you guys doing? This is James the Juggernaut. Oh, listen to that voice, all low and deep. Now, James, where are you from? Um, originally, I mean, I was raised in Yakima most of my life, but most of my family's from like the Texas area. I've been here from like seven till now. Okay. So okay. I'm from Yakima. You beat me because I moved here when I was twelve. So <laughs> <laughs> I know it's like weird when you came from somebody somewhere else and yeah. then you come here and you're like, I don't know what to say. I'm like half California, half Washington State. Yeah. All right. So uh, I figured I'd start it off with a couple of questions because everybody likes these things. Right. Oh, uh, tuna fish or peanut butter and jelly? Tuna fish. Nice. Chips on your sandwich or not? No. No chips on the side? Yes. Oh, what kind of chips? Um, the the cheddar ones, the ruffles, or just plain lays. Okay. Uh, ice cream sundaes or banana splits? Banana, uh, banana splits. Delicious. Uh, the traditional flavors, or you no. like to mix it up? I like chocolate, strawberry chocolate. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Uh, favorite artist that you would love, love, love to work with? I'm gonna get so much <laughs> flack okay. with uh, Eminem. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yes, yes. And if you do, bring him in here as yeah, well. Absolutely. Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> favorite artist that you have already worked with? Oh, oh. Um, I know there's a lot, so nobody take offense to what he's about to say. Uh, I just asked for one. Uh, well, I'll give you. I'll give you the biggest. I'll give you the biggest and what I, in my favorite. Okay. My favorite was Mike Jones because of the hospitality, the hospitality, and that's how he was, and, and the game, and the music industry. And I think the biggest one so far that'll be on my album is E40. Okay. Yeah. Very very cool. Yeah. So, what's the album called? Uh, this will be called Hometown Hustler. And our, how many albums are we in now? This will be my second one. Second album. So when did you start making music? Um, I've been making music as James Juggernaut for about two years now. But I've been I went uh, as uh, I went by a name prior when I was younger, and then uh, I've just been writing and always been a music fan since so like 12, 13 years old. Very cool. So it's a, like a good release for you. Yes. Are yeah. you a beat maker as well? No. Um, I. I'm, I'm really good at like when I when I'm in the studio like okay this is too loud this isn't loud enough whatever stuff like that but I'm I, I don't have the patience yet or maybe I just don't have the time to dedicate to actually learning how to produce mm -hmm. because that takes a lot that, that's a, uh, a way bigger um, quality I think in music than actually rapping because anybody can rap honestly but actually making the production and then mixing everything and making it an actually sound piece of music um, I'm not there yet when the beat drops just perfectly yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, very cool. So you've got some ideas of what you'd like to do in the future. So possibly yes, James absolutely. the Juggernaut, the producer. Yes. Very, Or very just James cool. the producer. Okay. <laughs> now, uh, I know that you just dropped, uh, just dropped like two two months ago, brand new music video? Yeah, I, I just dropped the music video of my, uh, my Jones, All Coops, All Foreigns. Um, and that's out right now. It's on Spotify, uh, iTunes. Everywhere uh, you, you can play on your social media, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and we've got close to fifteen thousand views in a couple months. Um, once it hits twenty, because I have a video called YFF uh, with some other local artists as well, and it has over twenty-two thousand. So I want it to hit about that twenty range before I do a new one. I'm shooting uh, one this weekend. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Can you tell us what it's called? It's called Bouncing. Bouncing. And it's it's very more it's very modern. It's a little more derogatory than my usual work. Okay, we're but, going dirty with it. Yeah. Something that can't be played on the radio. Exactly. <laughs> um, but I, I feel like with this and the kind of audience we have in Yakima, I'll be able to get more youth, youthful listeners. Because all coops all with, with, with dirtier music. Yeah, or or, or just <laughs> or just like the kind of the kind of beat it is, and just the overall. Right. It's the overall. Okay. With the, uh, with the song that I did uh, that had over twenty thousand, it, it sounded like a nineties two thousands, like mm. you know, and same with all coops all foreigns. Had, I know it has a lot of views because of Mike Jones, but it still sounds like a two thousand five two thousand six song, and that's what I'm trying not to do is. Um, 
continue to make music from the past. I'm trying to make okay. more current. Okay, so you know. you're not taking like songs from the 90s and then like remixing them? No, it's just like, well, because I'm 27. I'm still fairly young, but I grew up on like a lot of like, like Eminem, 50 Cent, mm -hmm. Paul Wall, mm -hmm. um, Mike Jones. Like I grew up on those guys, so they have heavy influence. But okay. to actually want to do something in this industry and not just be local, mm -hmm. I have to do some. I have to make music that people actually want to listen to outside of Yakima, outside from knowing me, outside of support your local if you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, yeah. I, I will say, check out that video. Uh, give them the name of it again so they can It's called it. All Coops, All Forms by James the Juggernaut featuring 15 and Mike Jones. Yes, who? Mike Jones. Yeah, that quality is really, really, that video looks really, you guys Thank have you. some extra like fancy yeah, in there. Yeah. So did you reach out to him or did he reach out to you? I reached out to him. Very cool. Yeah. And yeah. he was like, James, let's do this. Well, he... I see, don't know if he talks like Well, that. no, he, uh, he's seen the paycheck. Oh, <laughs> let's do it. Talks. <laughs> no, I brought no. I brought him out to the pastime in Sela, and uh, we'd had a song. Uh, we had the song a couple months prior, and I was like, you know what, dude? Uh, the show went well. I made a lot of money. I was like, if I give you this, can we shoot the video? So we did the same day. So the oh, cool. so the day that I brought him, a couple hours prior, we did the video. I love that. I love that. Making moves. Yeah, so you trying. mentioned Paul Wall. Yes, Paul Wall. Uh, grills. I'm like so excited. I, that was one of my songs. Like, yeah. From back in the day. Yeah. Like, oh, I want a grill, or at least like a little diamond on my. Yeah. Chest. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. But, so what is what's that about? So Paul Wall is coming to the pastime in Sela, um, Saturday, March 5th. Uh, it's going to be ages 21 and up. And yeah, we got Paul Wall coming. I'll be hosting a cool. um, lot of locals, a lot of people from out of town though too. Ooh. So it's not going to be like your regular guys who who do shows because you know, as locals, I mean, we kind of just have the same group of guys. It is what it is. Right. You know, me included. I'm yeah. not. You know, but we have some people coming from Texas that you've never heard of, <laughs> and people come from like Seattle, Oregon. A lot of different talent that's going to be coming to perform, and then of course Paul. Oh, that's cool. So I'm going to put the information at kffm.com, but if people wanted to go and find it, where would they buy tickets? So you can buy tickets. Um, you can either go down to the pastime and ask for tickets or on eventbrite.com or message me, James the Juggernaut, on Facebook. Uh, we have meet and greet. We have general admission, VIP tickets, uh, which is tables, which includes alcohol, things of that nature. Uh, doors open up at 6, show starts at 7. Okay, so that's March 5th. So as it gets a little bit closer, you said you'd be willing to give us some tickets? Yes, yes, for sure. I will make sure that 107.3 KFFM has all the tickets, all the freebies, all the giveaways. We're talking about VIP. Do they get to meet him? I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Um, I will make sure that I drop off a pair of meeting grade. I can promise oh that. Oh my gosh. I can promise that. Oh my gosh, that is so exciting. Thank you. No Thank problem. you very, very much. So two years into the game, you've decided this is what you want to do. Yes. Passion. Yes. Um, well, like I said, I, I've been doing this for a while, but it's it's one of those things like this. I'll be 28 this summer, and it's just like, you know, and I, realistically, you, you come a point in music to where it's like, where do you really see yourself? You know, mm -hmm. some people become DJs. Some people become producers. I truly believe that I can be a mogul. I think that I'll be the guy who has some hit records, right? They'll actually, they're like, oh wow, James really did it. But then I'll put other people on, and then I'll own radio stations, or I'll, I'll, I'll own, you know, record labels because that's really where I'm at mentally. Okay. But my artistry, I love making music. I believe that my artistry will pave the way and give me the opportunities, plus being a promoter to be able to do these things. Very cool. So if there's an artist out there that's listening right now and they're like, well, I want to get in on this business. Yeah. How do they get a hold of you? Um, Instagram, Facebook. Um, I'm always on social media, even when I shouldn't be at work. Um, <laughs> But uh, no, I mean, and also I would say that, you know, going into this, you know, into this industry, it's a lot of pay out, pay out before you even see a return. Like I, I get paychecks mm -hmm. from making music. Um, I haven't even made a hundred dollars. Can you also though, you have a side job. I yes. think it's really important to yes. talk about those yes. things. Yes. No, I, I, I work and every, everybody knows I, you know, I don't hide it. I don't tell them where, but I do right. work in education. I'm currently in college to get a teaching degree. You know, if every, if all else fails, you know, you know, cause I, I love kids. I love inspiring youth. I like to work with, um, kids with, you know, uh, challenges. Um, you know, because I feel like I can do my best there because, you know, I was one of those kids running around Yakima, you know, kicked out of middle school, got my GED, you know, we'll leave it at that. So I can, um, you empathize know, and sympathize. E e yeah, empathize, sympathize. And I understand like, cause I, you know, I, I was that 14, mm. 15 year old doing those things. But you, and, you've been rapping this whole time. Yeah, exactly. And I, and I just think that, and I'm not saying that, that these other educators or whatever, 
um, don't understand, but I feel like, you know, if you can get somebody who actually lived it and then changed their ways, yeah. that's a lot more inspirational, a lot more meaningful, and will actually have a better impact mm -hmm. with these kids than somebody who just went and got an education, got a fancy degree, and all oh, this is what you should do. How would mm. you know? I love that. I love that. So, so you are also starting a company of your yes. own? Yes. So Rich Lifestyle has been around for uh, three years. Three years as a promotional company, um, we lied and told everybody that we had a business license when we did it. <laughs> hey. But but uh, now now <laughs> we make do. Those moves yeah, sometimes. but now we do. Okay. Um, and legit. So, and now we're legit, and it's it's weird because when you open up a business, then you get all these weird letters. Like I've got all like people want me to put up posters for. I'm like I'm not even a brick and mortar or mortar whatever. Like business yet, but right. like, that's where you get all the different mail and emails you get from the government and like the city and stuff mm. like that. I, I didn't expect it. Right. But um, no, it's it's nice. Um, and then now I gotta pay taxes. Um, if if I lose money, if I lose money on a show, mm -hmm. it's a, it's a, it's more beneficial than it would be if I sold out and made twenty thousand dollars because then you gotta pay taxes on that. That's true. That's a lot of taxes on twenty thousand. So. Yeah. Well, it's not that much. But, I don't know. but no, but it's still it's it's like three or four percent, I think. Right. But it's still it's, it's enough a, to make a difference. Exactly. Okay. Absolutely. Very. very and then cool. think about like if if we did something major, like what if we brought fifty cent to Yakima, and then you know. So if you ever so if, if you guys ever see a big event by Rich Lifestyle or James the Juggernaut, and it was like thousands of people, just know I seen a little money. <laughs> I don't know if we, yeah, <laughs> congratulations. Yeah, congrats. uh, James is getting rich over here while he's bringing people in. That's yeah. very, very cool. Yeah. Uh, who else are you going to be bringing in soon? So, um, I don't, I don't want to say too much, but I will say, so after Paul, um, which is March 5th, March 5th again, um, over at the past time in Sila, we do have May 7th, the Latin Bash, mm -hmm. and that's going to be massive. Okay. Um, we have Amanda Perez. Hey. Um, we have Kid Frost. We have Conejo. He did a movie with uh, Shia LaBeouf called The Tax Collector. Oh, okay. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. Yeah, it's real good. Um, we have Sad Boy Local, uh, Kaylin Rodriguez, and uh, we have Dogface. You know who Dogface is? He's a huge I TikTok heard. star. I think. Oh, yes, okay. Yeah, the cranberry guy. The, juice. Yeah, cranberry <laughs> juice. Yeah, we're bringing him too. He's hosting. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so we got all those guys coming. That'll be May 7th. I believe that's a Saturday as well. It'll be all ages. Okay. Um, and, I mean, we're, we're going to try to make it as affordable as we can as well because we want the whole, we want the valley to show okay. up. Okay. You know, and, and there'll be taco trucks there, uh, Indian tacos. Oh, yes. uh, we got friends doing sliders, mm -hmm. Mexican candy, the whole nine yards. Oh, cool. Very, very cool. Yeah. So you're not just making music. You are making moves and you're bringing artists in. Yes. You got big plans. Where you see yourself in seven years? Seven years, hopefully, I break through musically. Like I said, I have a couple of hits. Maybe I'll be bigger than I anticipate. Maybe I won't be. But realistically, I see myself doing great in promotions. I see myself with a record label. I see myself with artists making them money. Because there's plenty of artists that I see in the Valley like, hey, you got it. Right. I'm making sure that I have it, but you are naturally born to have it. Yes. So now I've made all the mistakes trying to be an artist. Mm. I can We could skim through that. Mm. Now, let me put some money behind you. Let's let's do it. You know I what I mean? I love that. I can hear the passion. And so, that's what people need. These yeah. young artists need that. They need guidance, and that you will fall on your face multiple times. Yeah. You should have a side job, not and yeah. not as a fallback, but as you, yeah. you got to pay the bills. No, exactly. You know, and and I think that's the biggest misconception too. When you make music, like. You know, how do I pay for this? Mm -hmm. You know, I do get investors and things like that. Right, and, that, right. that and that happens more often than not. Ooh. But, you know, like, Paul, that's my money. Yeah. You know, me and my friends, you know, it's a couple of guys, you know, it's still a good chunk of change for us to throw together. Very much. You know, so we didn't get a big investor. It was just, okay, let's do it together. So, I mean, if we win, we win. If we lose, we lose. And that's that's even a, cooler, though. Yeah. That you guys did it without yeah. that help. Yeah, you know, and it, but it's, you know, it's the, it's the reality. Because, you know, if Paul shows up and then... You know, it doesn't do too well. Everybody's still got to see Paul, but you know, yeah. and that's the also, ones that want to see right. Paul. Right. But see, that's the, that's the thing, though, and 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 just don't that don't let that discourage anybody because we're actually not having a hard time selling tickets. Yeah. But I'm just saying that the reality of it is, for me, you know, money or not, because promoting is definitely money uh, a money game when you're self investing for sure. Right. But to me, it's like I see people post pictures like with Mike Jones or when we brought other artists. Like that was like one of the best nights of my life. Or oh, I never thought they'd come to Seal or Yakima. Yeah. 
Right. You know, that kind of mentality, you know, dampers people. And then they think, oh, it's a scam or it's not going to happen or things like that. Mm -hmm. And then it's just like, why would you say that? But it, it, it's, it's true and it hurts because, you know, the Yakima Valley has been stood up mm -hmm. and, you know, we have had a lot of issues with artists and, and just entertainers in general. Mm -hmm. And I get it. You know, it's not always the promoter's fault. It's not always the radio station's fault. Just things happen. Never the radio station. You know, <laughs> you know, because we are a small town, so, you know, we're always looked over. Yeah. You know, so, but anyways, uh, th that's what I pride myself. I've had some cancellations. Right. You know, well, you can't control some of that no, stuff. No, absolutely Especially not. Especially with what's going on. Absolutely not. Out, yeah. out there now. But. Yeah. But I, uh, but I for sure, uh, you try to do my best and I've definitely had more wins than L's. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So. I see the passion. I hear the passion. I wish you loads of luck. Anything else that we didn't touch on you really want to make sure that you uh, tell people? Yeah, I mean, just just follow me on Instagram, Facebook, uh, Instagrams James Juggernaut, TikTok James the Juggernaut, Facebook James Juggernaut five hundred nine. Uh, Rich Lifestyle Promo is our handle for all the promo stuff, and I just I really appreciate you guys who support us, um, who go to the shows, who buy the merchandise, who you know buy the CDs and the shirts and all that because all all that fuels the inspiration, the drive. And you know, you know, finance is what we're trying to do, and that's bring good, healthy, wholesome, maybe not always wholesome, <laughs> but you know, safe entertainment to the Acmo Valley. Perfect. Well, thank you very much for sharing your passion with everybody. And thank Absolutely. you for coming on in here. Yes, ma'am. Thank very you. Very cool. I am excited to have you come back. Thank you.